Welcome to the cutting room floor. It is a fashion week, but this is not your typical fashion show. You have a job in fashion. The entire industry really needs a reset. Unless you're a proper business person, a lot comes with running a successful brand, like not the fun shit. And so Virgil walked past me and I had no idea he was in New York. I had no idea he was coming to eat at La Esquina. That's so, wow. so that's how Virgil and I met. We were just like like-minded kids. YouTube has always been a place about creators who come from YouTube. I'm sorry. I'm literally the only person besides Vogue who is putting numbers on the motherfucking board mm -hmm. up there. We are seeing the devastation of brands. Saint Laurent, Celine without an E, Burberry. All of these brands are losing their gravitas. They're losing who they are. So there's just too much clothing. Too much clothing, not enough fashion. Too much clothing, not enough culture. Too much clothing, not enough innovation. Okay? And so what that means is that that $4.3 billion worth of loss merchandise lost money was not felt as a loss amber came out in the first outfit and people immediately started applauding and then kate came out and this is also kind of a new generation of girl because before that it was all about the supermodels she wasn't an unknown but in the world at large they didn't know amber valetta and prada then became the singular most important force in the world mm -hmm. and rightfully so because she just really was blockbuster after blockbuster with luxury deals. Mark my word, we are not dumb. We will not let the licensee design. Then he looped us in a bit later when he had just started Fetmon. I mean, literally two emails. Then Fetmon blew up. Yeah. From okay. when I had the first email and he was like, I'm doing this little label Fetmon, to the second email, not even two years, he got, he got appointed for Balenciaga. Mm -hmm. Honestly, it was so short. So it was so fast.